You may have uploaded textures into Second Life, but how do you save a texture back on your hard drive for future post-processing and doing other sorts of wondrous things? <laughs> well, it's pretty straightforward. Let's open my inventory. The first thing you got to know is you can't do this with textures that are not fully permissive. So they have to have no of this gray text. So they have to be copyable, modifiable, and transferable. Because when you do, you can click on it, then you can go down here, and then you can see save texture as. Notice this is grayed out when that's not available sensibly. You can also double click it, and when you're viewing it, you can click save as. But my favorite way is simply to right click and choose save as from the context menu. Nice and direct like that, and it opens up this file browser, save as, and then it will save it as a Targa standard graphics editing format. You can go ahead and open that in Photoshop, GIMP, and many other programs. Let's go ahead and save. And then it'll tell us file saved. And notice next time, say if I save something else, then we'll see the prior image is right there. So we can go ahead and edit that outside of the in-world experience. <laughs> Have fun.